Good morning. So, um, <laughs> I've been around for a while. So, today, I'm going into London. It's Easter Monday. So, I'm still off work. And I'm going to London to see my little sister. Now, my little sister is apparently a new YouTube subscriber. She might be a, I don't know if she's a subscriber. She watches me, anyway. Um, and she moaned at me slightly when we arranged this that I haven't produced a video recently. So I'm going to, and she's going to be on it, hopefully. If not, I'm basically not going to vlog, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> so I have damp hair. Um, I won't, I'll do an outfit of the day once I'm done, uh, but I'm going to get ready. I have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'm in London! <laughs> so I didn't actually vlog before I left the house because we were kind of late, so I'm in Slow Square. I'm waiting for Rose. Slow Square station is literally there. Um, and uh, it's beautifully sunny. I am massively regretting the coat because that's come off already. Um, so yeah, wait for Rose. We'll see if she, uh, she wants to be vlogged. Yay! Rose is scared of being on my vlog. So um, she's, she's not gonna be on it for now, but we've just been into anthropology. I've never been into anthropology, which is, yeah. I need to spend money in anthropology, but yet I don't at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's fun. And we're literally walking up the King's Road and it's amazing and it's sunny and I love it. <laughs> I didn't want to start recording. Anyway, so we are doing um, something very, what, what would you call it? Some kind of, we're people watching, but we're also doing something very made in Chelsea. <laughs> We're at the Bluebird Cafe. Or Blue Bluebird? Blue is it Bluebird or is it Bluebird Cafe? Anyway. It's Bluebird. It's Bluebird. It's Bluebird. It's Bluebird. Yeah, exactly. Rose still doesn't want to be on camera. Um, <laughs> you can hear her though. Anyway, so we just ordered posh sandwiches and chips and some, I would call them mocktails. Um, so we'll, I'll show you when we get there. How amazing does that fish finger sandwich look? Rose has mushroom on toast. It looks fab. Look at her drink, isn't that cool? And then we do have chips which are hiding behind the bluebird thing. And I just need to point this out. Look at this little bluebird on the, on the condiments tray. That's the cutest thing ever. So we finished dinner, it was amazing. Well, lunch. It wasn't dinner, it was lunch. Um, and and we're basically star spotting now. So that's that's fun. Um, yeah. Chris Chris would, Chris, would sh Chris would shout to us for the ridiculous things. But we're also talking about universities, aren't we? So that's, that's really good. And I'm back. <laughs> I'm at home. So um, I di we didn't really vlog or do anything after the, uh, after lunch, but we went, basically we went up one side of the King's Road and then came down the other side of the King's Road. And I think I've caught some sun, which is interesting. It's a lovely day. Uh, and we stopped in a couple of different shops. Uh, Rose went into Jack Wills and didn't buy anything, which is a novelty. Um, we went into the Kate Spade uh, shop, which I love, and I found a bag that I want, and it's 300 quid. So maybe a next season I'll see if it's gone into the Kate Spade outlet centre at Bista, outlet shop at Bista, and uh, maybe. But it's British Racing Green. It's beautiful. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little haul because I only got a little thing, little things. So, um, you saw that I had, ooh, I had my Lush bag. Uh, so, I'm going to Lush. Um, so that'll crinkle a little bit. So this, I've only tried this a couple of times, but I love it, Citra, Diet Coke Citrus Zest. It's really nice. And I love the like bright green top. Anyway, so that's that. Um, we went to Peter Jones, which is basically John Lewis. Um, but I don't really know the difference between Peter Jones and John Lewis. I know the difference between John Lewis and Waitrose. They're all part of the, um, John Lewis group, but I'm not really sure why Peter Jones is called Peter Jones and not John Lewis. If you know, tell me, tell me in the comments. But anyway, went to Peter Jones and I went to Benefit. Uh, Rose is slightly obsessed and then we sat down and they did some, um, samples on me. Um, I did have makeup on, but when I go to London, I try and kind of wash my face as soon as I get home because my skin can erupt from all the grime and the horribleness. So anyway, and I got myself Dallas, the, um, this is kind of like a blusher tint type thing. Um, and I also got, ooh, wobbly camera. Um, I'm filming on my phone. 
because I have a new six, for iPhone 6, which I might do a, a video on what's on my iPhone, and it's got six gig memory, I think. I think it's six gig. No, 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 it's more than that. Is it 64? Anyway, it's got lots of memory, so I can now use this for vlogging, so it means I don't have to take out my camera with me. Anyway, I got also, oh, glare, Sunbeam as well, which is um, a highlighter, but it's kind of a bronzing highlighter. So I don't, I've never used highlighter before, but I think, sometimes I think I should because um, I do kind of get dark circles and I need to kind of highlight there and there and where you highlight, basically. So I thought I'd give that a try. So, ooh, Sunbeam from Benefit. So that was Benefit. And then they gave me two samples of BB cream. And they've given me two because of my kind of skin tone. So I've got four medium and five beige. And it is the Big Easy. Bigger than BB, Big Easy. And it's got SPF 35 in it. That's quite cool. I like that. Uh... Bigger than BB Big Easy. It's balanced moisture and control oil. Cushiony liquid to powder formula self adjusts in your exact shade to even out skin tone and conceal imperfections. One and done. Big Easy saves the day. Mm. Cool, so we'll try that out. So they've given me five beige and four medium, so that's good. So that is my benefit haul, or my Peter Jones haul, but the benefit concession. Um, I then went to Lush, as you saw, and I got two things. I got the... Oh, the smell. It's amazing. I got the Keridwin's Cauldron, which I've had before. It's basically a kind of muslin pouch that's got this OT... Um, what else has it got in it? Mm. It's oats and herbs and like, it's it's just, it's really soft and, and, and moisturising. And oat baths are really good for people with eczema. Um, in fact, a lot of doctors kind of um, suggest them if you're if you are a bath person. So um, what I usually do is I uh, get an old pair of tights, um, cut off the end, fill it with oats and then kind of tie that, the oat pouch thing to the, to the, um, to the, tap and the water runs through it so it gives you like this nice frothy oaty bath but this actually is like as extra kind of nice stuff in it so i got another one of those which i really enjoy and then they they tested out um a bath bombshell bath bomb with us which is called the rose bombshell rose bombshell um it's apparently a new formula and she showed us how it basically it fizzes like a, a normal bath bomb and then it kind of this, the rose centre kind of comes out separately. It's like this big eruption. It's quite cool, actually. So, uh, I need to, oh, hands going. Um, so that was quite cool. And that was my Lush stuff. We're going to Lush in June with the brownies on a, a, a kind of night for, it's 15 pound a head party, basically. Um, so, and we get five pound voucher with that. So we'll see if I like that. And if I like that, then I'll get that again. But apparently it's their new formula for bath bombs. So we should be seeing some more like that in the future. So that's quite cool. And last thing I have to show you, we got this given to us because it was Easter weekend in Banana Republic. Kinder Bueno. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to argue with getting free chocolate. So that's come home with me um, because I had an amazing lunch and it was, it filled me up. Um, I'm now, it's now seven o'clock. Yeah, 20 past seven. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go and finish dinner um, or rather start dinner because we're having leftovers from yesterday's Sunday roast. Um, and then I think I'm going to carry on with some crochet. I started a new crochet project, which is really annoying that I didn't get it, um, on the bus, but I'll insert a, a picture. I Instagrammed it. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me because, um, particularly if you're interested in my crocheting stuff, I do post a lot of photos about crocheting on there. Um, I'll put the link down below. And I'm doing this thing. It's called... Oh, here we go. I'm going to completely think it's called Starfish Stole. Starfish Stole. Um, and I'm doing it in fiber spates, four plies. Fiber spates, vivacious four ply um, in a colour called Peacock. And I love it. Um, so I'm going to probably try carrying on with that uh, this evening. Um, I've had a bit of problems with my wrist and my kind of left arm, which is my dominant arm and my crocheting arm. Um, but I've been taking it easy this weekend and I only started kind of doing it again. And this pattern is pretty much just chains uh, with a couple of 
uh, double crochets knocked in there to make the pattern. Um, so it's pretty easy on my wrist because actually most of the work is being done by my right hand because I'm a yarn thrower um, when it comes to chain. So I don't kind of pick up the yarn with my left hand and that does all the work. What I do is I I, I throw my yarn over when I'm when I'm um, creating chains and creating stitches. So if you understand that, good, you, you understand crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do a crochet video at some point and you'll see and I'll probably show you kind of the differences but there you go. Well, maybe maybe something for a, a, another day. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, that's me done. I think that's probably going to be about 15, yeah, about 15 minute video. So I think that's enough for me for one day of vlogging um, and I will see you soon.